Hey guys, welcome back to the MyMaverick channel. Now, of course, here we try to break down some of the complexities in the digital asset space, cryptocurrency space. What are all these terminologies? There's, there's so much going on, you know, staking, you know, uh, tokenomics, uh, you know, consensus algorithms, proof of work, proof of stake. So today we want to talk about tokenomics. And tokenomics is basically a portmanteau of the word token and economics. They just join the words together to come up with tokenomics. What tokenomics is in the most briefest briefest ways to explain is the economics behind a, to a token uh, the token distribution initially when a company or a an organization creates a product or service and they want to build it around a blockchain ecosystem these tokens they need to the way they distribute them from the start to the founders to the advisors and whatnot to the then to the ecosystem to the people what percentages and whatnot that's all tokenomics what are they doing to increase the value, to help increase the value of these tokens through demand, through utility? Uh, other platforms have utility tokens, other, other platforms have governance tokens. Uh, so, so many, so many approaches that platforms, are, some platforms use something called a token burn. So they keep burning tokens to reduce their supply. Uh, so reduce supply, increase demand, increase price, you know, economic supply demand. So today we want to look at Fish.ai and their tokenomics. The reason why we want to look at tokenomics is because you've heard of Warren Buffet and Charlie Munger say this, that they would never have gotten rich without investing in stock that gives dividends, right? So that's the reason why it's very, very important, at least to kind of extract some of this traditional knowledge into this new traditional space. The technology began behind cryptocurrency is amazing. And that's the reason I went into the cryptocurrency space. But understanding or having a passion for something and also being able to make money off it through the combined power innovation brain power of other people out there that are you know working toying day and night to create these e ecosystems and you can participate in certain ways and then get rewarded by through your participation in those ways and then they're also rewarded you know tenfold whatever uh, by providing a service Th that's what it's all about that's that's where it breaks down to that's the that's the that's the crux of of what this is all about so without further ado oh if you didn't check out my video yesterday from about IQ, about Everpedia, that's, you kind of have an idea of what tokenomics are, though I didn't mention them. So I'll link that up somewhere in the video up there, you know, just watch out for that. So basically let's focus on, on, on Fetch AI. This is going to be a brief one, just sort of run through it really quick. So but, uh, the, on this page that you're seeing here, right here, uh, Fetch.ai, Fetch token information, whatnot, that's partly what the tokens are. So you're going to look at the token name you know so you create a company fet it's an it started off as an erc20 token but they in Mar on march 31st they launched their mainnet to build it on, they use the cosmos software development kit so they you can now move your tokens onto the uh, their mainnet and you can stake there so staking is part of the whole tokenomics thing blah 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 so when you look at this website right here you can see the token name which is fet so ERC20 is the standard that the tokens were built on when, when they were on the Ethereum blockchain and FET plans to stay interoperable. So the, so you will continue to be able to use the FET tokens on Ethereum and on the FET mainnet, which is on the Cosmos SDK. And this shows the current price of Fetch.ai, um, the 24 hour high, the 24 hour low. And then, so the tokenomics start when this, when Fetch was created, the team was like, you know, how many tokens should we create? How many tokens do we think is, you know, suffices? So sometimes you see some tokens don't have a maximum supply. So they have an inflationary rate, like Ethereum has a very small inflationary rate. So uh, the sort of there's an infinite supply of Ethereum. Bitcoin has only 21 million. So Fetch.ai, usually you see a total, but that number can be increased or you see just see a circulating supply of the tokens. So here we see a total supply, but if you go to say a website like coin market cap, right? I need to get this mouse working. When you go to say coin market cap, you see that Fetch.ai has a maximum supply of those tokens, which are 1 billion, 152 million, 97,575 tokens that will always, that will ever be in circulation. And so the company says, let's create these amounts of these, this number of tokens. And from the get go, how do we distribute them? So that's part of the tokenomics let's quickly run through the rest of the charts in this on this website here uh so basically you see the circular in supply 721 million those are the tokens that are currently in supply and new release tokens these are tokens uh, basically on the mainnet when 
there are people called validators that are validating nodes on the fetch.ai mainnet so as they provide that service they get rewarded this is also part of the tokenomics they get rewarded so what they do is that they secure the network so fetch.ai runs on three consensus algorithms bitcoin runs on proof of work but fetch.ai runs on proof of work proof of stake and uses directed a cyclic graph technology so they use the proof of work for um i think i read uh, their, their processes is the proof of work first for proving work then the proof of stake for you know for the staking model like validators and whatnot and then the direct acyclic graph i think that's where the information is recorded then published so they have a use case for all those models and it's amazing that they employ three consensus algorithms so so release tokens the tokens that are released are given to people running nodes that are securing the network and if you have tokens as an individual you can delegate some of your stake or some of your tokens to a validator and so the reward that the validator gets distributes a portion of that to the people that are delegating their stake to them that's also part of the tokenomics so this chart is showing the current total holders of fet uh, fetch tokens i think it looks at the number of wallets that are out there in the ecosystem then as you all know that fetch ai runs an agent based systems autonomous economic agents so this shows how many agents it's tracking currently out there though they have a disclaimer somewhere that this may not actually be very you know accurate information but it tries to kind of give a rough estimate for the tokens it has to be relatively accurate but for the agents this is a new ecosystem so i, I wouldn't blame them you know um, some may be experimental you don't it's a decentralized ecosystem so you may not be so sure about how to track things um, but for the tokens and whatnot that's supposed to be accurate because it's running on the blockchain we create which has a ledger and a log of everything that's happening every single time every second that's the beauty of blockchain and you know decentralized ecosystems so it shows you the total number of tokens and here you can click on the contract now when you click on this contract it brings you to to this page the ethereum scan because this is an ethereum contract so it brings you it brings you to this page and you're supposed to see how many tokens are there you're supposed to prove the details of these tokens and if you cannot see that then you go to a website called coin market cap you type in in the search fetch.ai and then you see a little fox here this little fox here will have a contract right next to it now you can click on this contract and what happens when you click on it it will as you can see the contract is right here it ends with a5 it starts with it's a hexadecimal number OXAE and it looks it's the same as this one OXAE D8 ends with D85 so they're the same so essentially when you go to coin market cap you can see the actual information uh, maximum total supply is this number of holders actually 14916 uh, you know the transfers that are going on ether scan is where you can type basically any ethereum address like if you have an ethereum address or a contract address you can just type it in here and it gives you all information all transactions of of the tokens of uh, 720 standards like like non-fungible tokens and every detail about your ethereum address and all transactions that you've made so actually this chart has really really helped to break things down and if you look deeper into the uh the, the fetch ecosystem basically they've had various distribution models i don't think i have pulled up a chart here so essentially when they were starting they were they had advisors they had the founders they had the organization so you found that they distributed like 10 percent to the organization 14 percent to the founders um and then they say maybe 50 percent um i'm just pulling rough numbers but into the charts you can i'll put the links in the description you can check out the charts so essentially and these distributions are vesting periods so it's not like oh the advisors are going to get 20 percent and the tokens are just going to be dumped onto the advisors and then the advisors just dump them onto the market and similarly with the team so this vesting period allows a period of say three years two years uh, distribution period to these people who are allocated this percentage of these tokens so that they don't have the ability to just sort of dump on dump them onto the market spike up the the circulate in supply and affect the price in a major way so that's essentially what tokenomics are the distribution and and other incentive models that i've created i've talked that 
you know the company creates so i've talked about staking staking is a very very good way uh to incentivize people uh, basically you delegate your tokens to a validator and then you get a reward for doing that and there's um there's also providing liquidity for example first today has a platform called metalex so you can go to metalex and provide a double-sided liquidity you can provide Fetch.ai and the Metalex tokens, and then you get rewarded Metalex tokens for that. So those are various ways in which tokens are distributed. Um, but you know, the easiest way is you buy a bunch of Fetch tokens, um, give them to validator, and the process. There is a company here called. Um, here is Cosmos. Cosmos is what I've been talking about. So essentially, Cosmos is this whole ecosystem that. I'll explain, I'll do another video, but it helps with interoperability of blockchain systems. So, and that's where Fetch.ai runs. So essentially, one of the validators that I've talked about, so I've talked about validators running, one of them is called Staking Land, and they did a blog post of a guide, a nice, well-written guide of how to stake your tokens onto the Cosmos ecosystem. So when you go to this, when you go to staking.land, uh, start staking you can follow a simple process of where you can use you know an online wallet or a wallet on your phone that you can download onto your phone you know it's called the, it's called the cosmos station app so you can download that onto your phone and then you can use that to create an account onto the cosmos ecosystem and consequently you can connect that you know you follow it's very very easy you follow these steps here and then you'll be able to delegate your tokens to a valid to any validator but you can also delegate them to this validator so i yeah so guys go explore i'm going to put all necessary all necessary links at the base of this video and you know go check it out i, I think it's it's very amazing to check out some of these things that are evolving in the blockchain space in terms of how people can make money how people can participate in securing networks and generally how this ecosystem is evolving i think it's it's very exciting and paying attention every single day it might just change your life in the future i think it's very very worth it to pay attention guys take care thank you for watching thank you for staying this long peace Thank you.